Finding balance. Understanding, be on even footing. Hello and welcome to our language learning journey. Today, we're going to delve into an interesting English phrase, be on even footing. It's a metaphorical expression used quite frequently in both professional and personal contexts. Understanding this phrase will not only enrich your vocabulary but also enhance your comprehension of English idioms and their applications. So, let's explore what it means to be on even footing with someone else. The phrase, be on even footing, is composed of two key parts, even and footing. Even suggests something that is level, equal, or balanced. Footing, in this context, refers to one's position or stance, often implying stability or grounding. When combined, the phrase metaphorically describes a situation where two or more parties are in a position of equality, balance, or fair competition. Understanding how to use be on even footing in conversation is crucial. This phrase is commonly employed to describe situations where individuals, teams, or entities have equal opportunities, resources, or conditions. Here are a few examples to illustrate its usage. In negotiations, the two companies were finally on even footing after weeks of discussions, making it possible to reach a fair agreement. In sports, with the star player recovered from his injury, both teams were on even footing in the championship match. In personal relationships, after resolving their misunderstandings, both friends felt they were on even footing again, with equal efforts towards maintaining their friendship. While, be on even footing, is a versatile phrase, its interpretation can vary depending on the context. In a business setting, it might relate to equal opportunities for success among competitors. In personal relationships, it signifies a balance of effort, respect, or power between individuals. Recognizing the context in which the phrase is used is essential for its accurate application and understanding. We hope this exploration of the phrase, be on even footing, has provided you with a deeper understanding of its meaning, usage, and significance in various contexts. English idioms like this enrich communication, allowing for expressive and nuanced conversations. Keep practicing, and soon, navigating these expressions will have you on even footing with native English speakers. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to our next language learning adventure together.